uh, logo day. So you might have one of these time capsules or airport extremes hanging around. And uh, since I'm not using it anymore for uh, any kind of backup for my Macs, I thought about using it to store some media for my media hub. So now the problem is that my media hub is running Linux with a kernel 5.15 and above. It's actually 6 something. And so it cannot really uh, natively uh, connect and mount the shared drives. The first option is to uh, use a Mac as a proxy, or you can use uh, another uh, Linux machine with a compatible kernel, so prior to 5.15. But I found all these options quite cumbersome and a little bit annoying to have multiple devices running all the time on your network. So I came up with this solution running a local VM on the host directly with a compatible kernel basically. So if you browse to this location, the time capsule proxy project on GitHub, then you make sure you have these dependencies installed on your machine. Then you install, you run the script. It will create a local directory wherever you uh, run the script. And before we, we run the script itself, you, you go to your time capsule uh, using an airport utility, either on your Mac or on your phone. It's uh, the same process. You make sure you note uh, and jot down this IP address, which is the IP address of the time capsule, the password, obviously, but also the name of the shared drive you want to mount. We will, we are going to mount the data drive. So you press yes. In my case, my IP, IP address is the following. Shared drive I want to mount is called data. I'm actually securing with device password, so we don't need any username, but if you did secure with accounts, you would need also your username. I don't have it, so no username. This is my test password, and I want it to be mounted at a startup. You need systemd. The script will deflate the virtual machine that has been already provisioned with all the packages that are required to mount with Samba, the uh, time capsule. And then it will uh, provision the auto mount on the VM itself. There it is. So now the VM is up. So let's check with IDF H. There it is, 1.8, 1.4 terabytes free as, uh, sh as shown here on the airport. So it's up and running. So now we rebooted. We are running this kernel. As you see, the uh, VM has not been mounted yet, but if you go into the uh, folder itself, you will find a connection log. shows what's happening. So the uh, system, the uh, pro startup process is actually waiting for the VM to be fully loaded and the uh, time capsule to be mounted within the VM before mounting it on the host itself. I think it has a delay of uh, 60 seconds between trials. There it is, system is up and running. And there it is, it's nice and mounted onto your system and you can uh, mount and utilize this path now within your configuration in uh, Plex, Jellyfin or the likes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day.